And so um, the various projects that I've had, I mean, Simply Christian, which you mentioned, the publishers asked me if I would do that as a little book, really to be rather like C.S. Lewis's Mere Christianity. Mm. Um, it's like it in some ways and unlike it in others. But that was an opening up of a possibility for me, which yeah. gets me into the world of what some people have called apologetics. Um, though I don't do apologetics the way that many people in America think of it. It's not a rational um, move from first principles all the way up to saying, therefore, there is a God or anything. But it's a way of saying, as at the beginning of Simply Christian, and so as throughout Broken Signposts, um, that, that there are these things which are common to all hum humankind, um, uh, an instinct for justice yeah. and for spirituality yeah. and for relationships and beauty. And then um, in this book, obviously, I had three more, freedom and truth and power. And of course, what's come in between Simply Christian and Broken Signposts is that I did the Gifford Lectures in Aberdeen a couple of years ago, uh, which is published under the title History and Eschatology. And I used the image of Broken Signposts in chapter seven of that book um, in a more philosophical context and granted the argument of that whole book, that's how it went. Um, but in a similar way to what I'm doing here. Um, and so it, then uh, I was discussing with my colleague who helps me run the uh, NT Right Online online courses and we decided as a thought experiment that we would do a course where I took those seven themes and thought about John's gospel in relation to them and mm. that seemed like a really off the wall quirky thing to do but there is so much in John about justice and freedom and truth and so on which many people miss that I thought this is worth trying it and I think I think it works I think it's an introduction to John but also an introduction to this kind of apologetics there. I've said far too much, but I hope that. Oh, makes sense. oh, no, no, no. I mean, that totally makes sense. And